This is a word PB. <sighs> Father in heaven, I squat before you today in your omnipresent presence to ask that you grant me strength. <sighs> I was prattling around a bit too much, which caused the RP to skyrocket. I was supposed to do two singles at RPE 6, but obviously, because I sat in the hole for so long, pressing around, that was probably an RPE, well, I think if I decided to go for some more reps and I, you know, reduced the time significantly for, for how long I squatted down in the hole, I could probably have got three more, but I couldn't do three more of sitting in the hole for that long. It's just too long. It's me prattling around and I need to stop. Um, I need to get out of the habit of it really. Anyway, dropping down to 160 kilos. I'm gonna do this for a set of six. And then once I've done a set of six with this, I'll be uh, doing whatever my program generates. The whole prattling around in the hole it's all fun and games, but it needs to stop. That was a terrible misload. Ooh. Some cheeky little back offsets. I did 160 kilos. Well, you already know what I did. I don't need to explain that. That felt okay. My back is tremendously sore today. I do believe that's because the majority of the day I've been sat in the driver's seat and the day before that I did deadlifts. So combine heavy deads with constantly sitting in one position for many, many hours straight. It doesn't usually go to quite well. I also fell asleep on the sofa, which just adds to the already overfilled jug of uh, poor recovery and, well, things that irritate the lower back muscles. But I'm gonna do this for one set of six and then move on to whatever it says on the program which i believe is walking lunges or hip thrusts it's it's one of them it's one of them I'd say that was a pretty solid set of six. Just like the solid set of six with 160 kilos and the somewhat solid sets of 180 for two doubles. Paused doubles, overly paused doubles. But yeah, moving on, I guess. Okay, squats was pretty damn successful. Pause squat side is. Moving on to some bench press, working up to a single at RPU 
I'm hoping around 155. But uh, like I usually say, we shall find out. So I haven't really spoke about how I'm feeling um, halfway in the block. Not properly anyway. I mean, I spoke about the deload, which felt great. But now that we're back to it, week six, one more day away from completing our first week. Um, slight lower back fatigue has set in once more. Let me think, please. The musical instruments were distracting me. But yeah, slight, slight soreness in the back, but that could be managed with um, a decrease in volume, which I think is a very reasonable thing to do. If I push forward and continue with the same amount of volume that I have now, then I risk snapping my shit up, which is not very, uh, optimal can't really perform any optimal reps if i've snapped my shit up i might start looking into some sort of lower back mobility drills ones that stretch the lower back and all the muscles around it really loosen them up you know slip and slide kind of thing i'm thinking like touch my toes to the floor pick up my soap and hang off the edge of a clip no hang off the edge of a bar the edge hang off of a bar and just dangle like a fucking ape on a tree in the jungle Hello, 100 kilos. Just a quick stop by. Gotta say hello. Your dinner is served. What's that, 115? You just saw 100 kilos leave. Oh, what a shame. I'm experiencing a random forearm pump. I experienced a random forearm pump doing I don't know what I was doing, I was doing something. Sus. I think it was uh, making a cup of tea with two sugars. And now I'm experiencing a random forearm pump during bench press. I mean, I'm not complaining. These things are looking pretty bulbous. You know, quite girthy. But uh, that's not girthy forearms isn't the aim for today. The aim for today is a solid set of one at RPE 6.5, which again, 150 car, 50, 155 kilos. Yes, I said that right that time. Or did I? Or was it? I said it right, oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Vocabulary is starting to deplete, just like my energy levels. It's kind of what happens when you have done five days of 
to getting up at four in the morning. It is what it is. You just got to get on with it, boy. Judging by the way that 60 kilos, 100 kilos, and 150 kilos have come up, 155 kilos is well within predictability of the RPE. I'm going to do singles now, working up to 155. I'll do one with 130, one with 140, maybe 145, and then one with 155. Yes, 100 kilos and 115 kilos have already left. 130. What do you want? Nothing. Okay, bye. Don't disappoint me, 145. Don't let me down. Come and go. Bye-bye. I predict this weight will come up quicker than the money goes out of my bank account. <sighs> and I was correct. Okay. Moving on to some spotto presses. The old spotto presses are doing me fantastically recently since implementing them into my training regime. My bench press has significantly got stronger, especially after the uh, about an inch off my chest, which is exactly where I had a weakness in the first place. So they're doing their job. Fantastic stuff. Anyway, I'm doing one set of five at RP 6.5. Whether this will be that set, that top set for Spotto Press, I don't know. But uh, let's just get straight to it, shall we? <sighs> My spotter press has definitely got stronger. I think either 125 kilos or 130 kilos for a set of five will uh, be bang on the RPE target. This angle should give you a better idea of what a spotto press looks like. The spotto press is a very specific variant of the bench press that targets a very specific point of the bench press. Now, you can do a spotto press with different distances between your point of contact and the barbell. But for me, my weakest point is about an inch or so, maybe two inches off my chest. So I aim to hold the barbell around an inch or two away from my chest, my contact point. That to me, like I've said, is uh, perfect and working brilliantly. I didn't think the other angle was adequate, so I'll give you one more. With a lower weight of 112.5 kilos. That's after a top set of spotto presses with 125 kilos. Now, that 125 kilos, I'd say was RPE 6. Maybe, maybe RPE 5.5. Like I'd said, I wanna dial down the volume a little bit. Not, not as much for bench press, mainly for squats and deadlifts. Because squats and deadlifts are the two things that if I do too much of, it starts to give me uh, achy and sore joints. Well, not necessarily achy, I don't get achy. I just get sore joints. Or is it even my joints? I'd say it's not even my joints. I'd say it's my muscles. Fucking hell, I keep going back on myself. Okay, those two exercises with too much volume give me sore muscles. The DOMs last a little bit too long, which is why I think it's a smart move, a smart play on the giant chessboard of gym routines 
to dial it down slightly. <sighs> that was too low. The amount of tension that I feel when I'm pausing it above my chest is uh, quite high on a scale of 1 to 10 I'd say about 7. So another day, another session call this part two of the leg day and I thought I'd start it with something very different than usual power cleans need to be careful with the microphone Well, it's going better than I thought it'd go. My technique is nowhere near as good as it used to be when I did these sort of movements regularly. But give or take, it's all right. I think the thing I need to focus on right now is not extending too early because I'm feeling it hit my thighs rather than going up in one smooth line and driving under it. I need to give myself a few cues, maybe, I don't know, I'll just, I'll figure it out. But uh, 60 kilos, it's easy. Definitely going up to 80 kilos. Problem with these sleeves, my brother gifted me these sleeves for my knees. They're hook grip sleeves and they are very, very comfortable, but they are a bit too small for my tree trunk legs. Hundred kilos felt all right. One twenty maybe. A one hundred and twenty clean. Maybe coming right up. Let me get it nice and straight first. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Hundred and twenty kilos. I'd say that was probably my limit for today, but I would have loved 140. I'll tuck the shirt in because I'm getting serious. I know you can't do much if this fails, but if it does fail and it goes tits up, do what you can. What are you expecting us to do? Use the force. No, I don't know. There is a chance I might die. Maximum tightness needs to be achieved. Oh my God, I fucking did it. Woo. Huh? No. So I'm gonna do a couple of back down sets just to complement the way that I train on a usual basis. 100 kilos, 
two sets, two singles. Can't really go wrong with that. I kind of want to program this into my current program, but at the same time, I don't want to go, I don't want to spend too much volume at the expense of my squat, bench and deadlift. I'll, uh, I'll definitely have to think about it, think if I can fit it in or where I can fit it in if I can. But uh, also, these two singles are going to be filmed in slow motion. I'm not sure if it's um, 120 or 240, but this is where you will see the flaws. I think this might be even slower than the previous clip, so should be pretty damn cool. <laughs> should be trying clean and jerk it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I appear to have made a grand mistake. Well, I was gonna transfer my chalk in the bag, the Ziploc bag that's broken, but uh, it appears this bag has holes. Fucking fantastic. As usual, I catch the class music, which completely drowns out my voice, so I'll finish with a voiceover. I did 22 kilo dumbbell lunges for three sets of 10 reps, and 32 kilo dumbbell RDLs for three sets of 10 reps. A nice little finish to part two of my squat focus workout with a little twist at the start. I'd love to implement power cleans or cleans into my weekly workout, but I worry that if I do, I'll go over my weekly volume. If I do decide to implement power cleans or cleans, I'll have to min max the volume, so it's still progressive just like my SPD, but not to a degree I do SPD. Power cleans and cleans are a solid exercise or exercises for anyone looking to increase overall strength and they're brilliant exercises for athletes of sports like rugby, sprinters and long jumpers as it's a very explosive exercise and builds fast twitch fibres for both the posterior chain and the anterior chain. Posterior chain being your back muscles from your head to toe and your anterior chain being your front muscles from head to toe. Since I've started doing low bar back squats on my first squat day, dumbbell walking lunges and dumbbell RDLs, my hamstrings and posterior chain in general has absolutely grown. It's become thick and very bulbous, just like Eric would say. I'm discovering hidden gains within these exercises. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, have a nice day or night.